Something impossible is happening in the sky right now. A third unidentified object has just been spotted and it's falling into a perfect line with two other cosmic anomalies. And what it's not doing is raising even more questions. Breaking news from the cosmos. We have a new, significant development unfolding inside our solar system at this very moment. If you thought the earlier arrivals of two strange interstellar visitors were peculiar, this new discovery elevates the mystery to an unprecedented level. A newly identified body, currently designated as 2025 XG42 until its official naming, has been tracked moving into the inner solar system. Its approach vector doesn't correspond with any known comet family's typical path. Even more intriguing, its trajectory is remarkably flat, nearly parallel to the orbital plane, positioning it in a near, perfect, geometric alignment with Earth and the two other mysterious objects in a configuration that seems to defy random chance. We need to walk through this carefully, as the implications are profound. The initial confirmation came earlier today from an observatory in Chile, using a specialized survey instrument. They detected a faint, hazy glow around the object, much dimmer than anticipated for its distance from the sun, and critically, they observed no visible tail whatsoever. This specific pattern should sound familiar, because it's precisely what we witnessed with the other two visitors. Let's be perfectly clear. This does not automatically imply extraterrestrial technology, but it absolutely forces us to reconsider the lazy assumption that every dark, fast, moving object is just a simple comet. That assumption has been repeatedly challenged, and 2025 XG42 is already demonstrating it belongs to this enigmatic category. Now, let's rewind and start from the beginning. The initial detection flagged an inconsistency, an object that brightened in a strange, non-linear way across multiple image sequences. The team's first thought was an instrument error, perhaps a satellite glitch or sensor noise. But after painstakingly reviewing each exposure, the signal held. Something was there. Something dark, compact, and seemingly solid, enveloped in a subtle haze that looked nothing like the energetic gas cloud of a typical comet. The data was submitted and within hours, two independent observatories confirmed the finding. We now have enough preliminary tracking data to map a probable course. Let's switch to a simulation to visualize this, because the spatial arrangement is the real story here. What you're about to see is a configuration that has astronomers worldwide utterly captivated. Loading the orbital simulation, we input the three objects we've been monitoring. First, the interstellar visitor ATLAS, moving at hyperbolic speed. Second, the rogue object Borisov, which appeared unexpectedly between Earth and Atlas. And third, the comet K1 with its distinct golden tail, currently in our local neighborhood. Now, we overlay the projected path of 2025 X42. The result is immediate and stunning. From our vantage point on Earth, all four of these bodies are clustered within a tiny patch of the sky, spanning just the constellations of Virgo and Leo. But that's merely the setup. Watch what happens when we fast forward the simulation just three days. As we advance the clock, 2025 XG42 slides into an almost perfect straight line with Earth, Borisov, and Atlas, four separate objects originating from different points in space, briefly form a precise geometric line. This occurs while Atlas is being influenced by Jupiter's gravity, while Borisov nears its closest approach to the Sun, and while our star is in a period of intense storm activity. We've been documenting these alignments, a previous object lining up with active sunspots, Atlas being struck directly by solar eruptions, Borisov rising from below the orbital plane to position itself between us and Atlas, and now 2025 XG42 silently enters the same celestial corridor. If you feel like the universe is deliberately setting up a pattern, you are not the only one. This isn't about little green men, unless future evidence forces that extreme conclusion. It is about geometry that contradicts a universe of random, statistical chaos. When this many rare events happen concurrently, the scientific community takes notice. The sky is drawing a line and we are being asked to look.
Let's examine the specific traits of this new object. Even with limited data, key features stand out. One, it has no tail at all. Two, its coma is incredibly faint, even more so than Borisov's, and displays a stable luminosity instead of the erratic flickering caused by outgassing. This stability hints at a composition of non-volatile, perhaps rocky or metallic material. Three, it remains surprisingly dim for its proximity to the sun, where comets usually brighten dramatically. And four, its motion shows slight deviations that don't align with pure gravitational physics. Let's talk about that for a moment, because the term none, gravitational acceleration, is crucial here. Normally, comets experience tiny thrusts from gas jets, slightly altering their course. That's standard. But the early data for 2025 XG42 shows minute shifts that don't point in the direction a tail would push it, primarily because there is no tail. There's no consistent source of outgassing to provide the thrust, yet its path is deviating, just like its predecessors. We are not discussing major course corrections, but behaviors that simply do not fit the model of an icy body. Now, here is the detail that truly amplifies the mystery. Comparing the inbound path of 2025 XG42 with that of Atlas reveals they came from completely different regions of deep space. This is not a piece of Atlas that broke off. This is not a fragment or a companion. This is an independent traveler arriving on its own trajectory, yet synchronizing its entrance with the others. How many coincidences must we accumulate before we acknowledge that the situation is genuinely unusual? Look at the evidence. Three objects with odd physical properties, all lacking tails, all with strange light curves, all hinting at non-gravitational movement, all sharing the same small slice of the sky, and all entering moments of alignment with Earth and the sun within the same narrow time frame. I keep repeating this because it keeps proving truer. The cosmos appears to be running a sequence, and we are the audience. In the last month, solar activity has skyrocketed. We've had strong geomagnetic storms, and sunspot groups are rotating into direct alignment with these objects. The timing feels orchestrated. It feels meaningful. And that is precisely why we must pay close attention. Let's bring this back to a human scale. In a moment, I'll show you what this alignment looks like from your backyard using a sky map. But first, a critical point. Objects like these, even if 100% natural, represent an unparalleled scientific chance. Windows like this do not open often. Having multiple anomalous visitors inside our solar system at the same time is extraordinarily rare. It is a once-in-a-civilization opportunity. If we fail to study them because of bureaucracy or limited telescope time, that failure is ours alone. Now, let's look at the sky. What you're about to see is a celestial arrangement that defies probability. Loading the sky map, we set the time for the pre-dawn hours. With the atmospheric overlay off, the stars of Virgo and Leo become sharp and clear. This is the stage. One narrow strip of sky, two constellations, four anomalous objects converging. Right now, Virgo hosts the two most peculiar visitors, Atlas and Borisov, moving almost in sync. And just below them, slipping quietly into position, is our new arrival, 2025 XG42. If you look slightly upward, Leo contains the comet K1, glowing with its characteristic tail, the only one of the four behaving somewhat normally. But all focus is on Virgo. Every major telescope on the planet is pointed there because the concentration of activity is something we have never before recorded. The sky map shows the markers. Atlas in blue, Borisov in white, and 2025 XG42 in yellow. Their actual distances from Earth are vast, but from our perspective, they are incredibly close together. As we advance the time, the markers shift slowly. The positions inch closer to a straight line, and around 5.38 a.m. local time, the three primary bodies form a near, perfect line that intersects the ecliptic. Let me state this plainly. Three anomalous objects, none behaving as they should form a line in the same constellation at the same time with Earth looking right down that line. 
and the fourth object, K1, sits just off to the side in Leo. This is not normal. This is not a common occurrence. This is the kind of setup you might see once, if ever. And the most baffling part is how they all resist the sun's power. As we zoom in, the real peculiarity becomes evident. Every time Earth turns toward the dawn horizon, we get a clear view of Virgo. And what's remarkable is how little these objects have changed. Atlas still has no tail despite being hammered by solar storms. Borisov, even closer to the sun, shows only a faint haze. And our newcomer 2025 XG42 looks just like them. Tailless, dim, and compact. Let's isolate it. The sky map gives us its coordinates, and when we zoom in, we can just make out the faint haze of its coma. It's dim, much dimmer than it should be. Yet it has a defined boundary, a shape that suggests something more cohesive than a loose pile of ice. Advanced imaging reveals the same thing, a central nucleus inside a soft halo, with no signs of outflow or a tail. This is the point where astronomers begin asking difficult questions, because if something is accelerating slightly without outgassing, without a tail, uh, without standard cometary activity, what force is acting upon it? We know the usual explanations. Jet activity, and even sublimation. But if those are absent, you are left with either a material that can withstand immense heat without shedding mass, or something else entirely, something for which we have no existing classification. We are witnessing the rules of astronomy being rewritten in real time. Let's overlay the solar activity data. The sun is currently hyperactive, emitting flare after flare. Coronal mass ejections have been frequent. Historically, when an object is hit by such intense radiation near the sun, it either disintegrates or erupts with a magnificent tail. But Atlas didn't, Borisov didn't, and 2025 is G42, even as it races inward, isn't reacting. To grasp how strange this is, we can look at coronagraph data. You can see the solar storms exploding outward. And somewhere in that chaos is Atlas, a small, compact object with a coma that barely changes even when the solar wind is pounding it. So what does the presence of 2025 XG42 mean? That's where we enter the realm of informed speculation. The prevailing theory is that this clustering and alignment could be influencing solar activity through complex geometric interactions. When objects align with Earth and the Sun, combined gravitational and magnetic effects can sometimes amplify solar behavior. This is a documented phenomenon. But then there's the other possibility, the one discussed in hushed tones. What if these objects aren't arriving by accident? What if there's a reason they share strange compositions, resist solar radiation, and align so precisely? What if Atlas, Borisov, and now 2025 XG42 represent a class of interstellar nomads for which we have no existing playbook? Nobody is shouting, Hylians. Let's be unequivocal. But it is entirely reasonable to step outside the old paradigm and consider that interstellar vagabonds might follow physical rules we have not yet discovered. Watch as the solar wind simulation plays across the inner system. The active sunspot region turns toward the alignment zone. 2025 XG42 approaches its closest solar pass. Borisov moves into the space between Earth and Atlas, and the sun continues to erupt as if it's interacting with this precise configuration. Now, switch back to the ground view. Virgo still holds all three objects. Leo holds the fourth. Earth faces them in the pride dawn sky like spectators before a grand performance. And a distinct pattern emerges. Unusual visitors, sequential arrivals, synchronized positions, solar agitation, dim comas, tailless profiles, unexplained acceleration, it's as if the universe is conducting a stress test, evaluating our sensors, our response protocols, and our readiness. This might be a rehearsal for a much more significant encounter in our future. If this is a test run from the cosmos itself, then our response now determines our preparedness for the real event. We need superior imagery from Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope. We need prompt data releases from all space agencies. 
We must stop treating these extraordinary objects as routine because routine has left the building. As dawn breaks, the stars in Virgo fade from view. The alignment persists for a few final minutes, a silent testament to its rarity. Four anomalous bodies clustered across two constellations, all visible in a single glance, all defying conventional physics. With 2025 XG42 now on the scene, the pattern is undeniable. The raw numbers deepen the story. The minor planet center has only a handful of observations, but the orbital solution already suggests a hyperbolic eccentricity, meaning it's moving too fast to be tied to the sun. It's another interstellar visitor, not a fragment, but a new, independent arrival from another star system. The bigger picture is now crystal clear. Three interstellar class anomalies have entered the inner solar system within a time frame far shorter than statistics would predict. Astronomers once thought we might see one such visitor every few decades. Yet here we are with three at once, all in the same observational window, all aligned with Earth during peak solar activity, all showing non-cometary traits. This is the moment where even the most skeptical experts pause and admit that the situation is extraordinary. The coma behavior is the most telling clue. Normally, approaching the sun means violent brightening and tail formation. Instead, these objects remain stubbornly stable, unreactive, and shielded. The few brightness variations we detect don't match the standard thermal profile. The coma of 2025's X42 is so faint and uniform that some researchers question if it contains any volatile ices at all. Imagine holding snowballs in a fire and watching them not melt. That is what we are observing. The sun is unleashing its full power upon them, and they are enduring. They behave like metallic or rocky composites. They absorb the energy and persist. While their resilience challenges our models, their alignment challenges our fundamental assumptions about cosmic randomness. Let's consider the solar storm data. Magnetometers worldwide registered significant disturbances last night coinciding almost exactly with the moment Borisov, Atlas, and 2025 XG42 passed through their alignment zone with Earth and the Sun. This doesn't prove a causal link, but it powerfully reinforces the correlation. It resurrects the question we've asked before. Why do these alignments keep happening alongside surges in solar activity? What unseen dynamic, gravitational, electromagnetic, or otherwise? Are we failing to model? Now we arrive at the detail everyone is contemplating, though few will state openly. If an intelligence wanted to gauge how humanity responds to unexpected cosmic phenomena, how we classify objects, how our space agencies react, how our early warning systems perform, this is precisely the kind of sequence it would deploy. Not the main event, but a diagnostic, a systems check. Let me writer it. This is a conceptual exercise, not a firm belief. But the pattern feels too coordinated to dismiss. Whether these objects are natural, artificial, or something in between, they constitute one of the most extraordinary observational opportunities in the history of astronomy. To ignore this is to ignore a knock on the door of human understanding. And if this is a rehearsal, our response today determines our readiness for tomorrow's main event. I will continue to track the path of 2025 XG42, the activity in Virgo and Leo, the solar storms, and every new data release from global space agencies. This cluster of mysteries is not slowing down. If you found this breakdown valuable, please support the channel by hitting the key button and make sure you're following Winds of Thought for the latest updates. The universe is speaking. We just have to learn how to listen.